a city where many American movies and series are filmed. What is so special about Toronto? Toronto doesn't really look like New York or Chicago or any other American city Toronto stands in for. That is why filmmakers avoid wide shots of Toronto. Let's try that out. Wide shots versus close up. Now, you can't tell if that's Toronto or some American city. Whenever you film, remember, zoom in as much as you can. Let's imagine we get a good shot. Oh, wait. Ugh, damn. Local transit system, huh? Be prepared to suffer, because streetcars are everywhere. Windows are perhaps one of the biggest differences between Canadian and American architecture. American windows, inspired by Dutch and British settlers, are double-hung windows. They are the centerpiece of the American aesthetic. Canadian architecture, on the other hand, was influenced by the French, which resulted in this. Now let's say you get this perfect shot, but there's one problem. Damn these TTC cars. Suburbs are often America's movie's signature and primary location sets. Canadian suburbs, unfortunately, don't look much like American. However, Toronto's got your back. One of Toronto's oldest neighborhoods, the Annex, is lined up with tall trees that looks pretty much like any East Coast suburbia. Many buildings like this can pass for Upper West Side in New York. Oh, Canada. We love a good old Canadian flag, eh? But not if we're trying to fake our big red, white, and blue neighbor. Another thing to look out for, street and road signs. Now signs in the United States are predominantly green, while in Toronto they are blue. So let's just edit that out. Brick is another important visual. American buildings are mostly made of red brick. Perfect. Look at this American suburban street in Greenwich. Or I don't know, Yonkers. Or maybe it's Boston. I don't know, whatever you want it to be. Place list of Toronto makes it unique. You can literally fit any narrative in this city. You want an abandoned Detroit feel? You got it. You want an Asian city? Hey, you got it. You want a Paris suburb? You know what? You got it. New York? Definitely got it. Toronto's got your back. Boston? No problem. Targeting specific buildings in Toronto will guarantee you whatever location you're trying to fake. All in all, University of Toronto, Distillery District, West of Queen Street, Financial District, and the beautiful Annex are your main areas to fake any location in the US. That's your tip for today, and remember, zoom in and no wide shots. See you later.